Nisi. So that androgyny, we need to understand and really tap into that particular point. That union is also saying a thing or two about argument. Because the true argument is actually supposed to be between man and woman. That's the learning process. So this one being that actually separated into two beings, if I'm a man, like I am, with a penis, I actually came here to study the feminine. Mm -hmm. Because I have a masculine perspective, so I need to keep saying, "Why? Why that bitch is doing that? Why that bitch is why? If I why do I do it this way and she does it that way?" So I'm actually looking at a mirror image of myself, mm -hmm. studying what's up with me. And if she came as a woman, she's actually studying mm -hmm. a, a side of herself. What's up with this nigga? Why niggas always do that? Why nigga always? Why nigga always dirty? Why nigga is late? Why nigga always talking to mm -hmm. shit? So you're actually which studying makes, it, which makes perfect sense because the there's a constant fascination, of course, with, with each other. With each other, but that's the other side of you. Mm -hmm. You are incomplete. Bobby used to say this to me. I didn't get it until I got it. That's why I said you're not going to get it. He said it a thousand times. If you're not ready to hear it, you're not ready to hear. It. So I know people are not ready to hear this. So I'm not making a miracle. I'm talking to the people who are on the fence. This will rope somebody in who's actually reaching the peak of this level. But the average guy sitting around that we're talking about, that invisible guy that we're talking about, he ain't gonna get it. He ain't gonna get it till he gets it. So Bobby used to tell me, real consciousness, you ain't gonna find it until you find love with another woman. Nigga what, nigga what? He said, no, it's your heart chakra, it's your kundalini, it's your heart, it's your love. He said, but you need that other person almost like a catalyst to actually release something in you. Hmm. You're the one who's letting go. You're not saying, I love her because she's this. You're the one who's saying, I don't give a fuck. Then he talked about this movie called Adaption or Adaptation with Nicolas Cage. Terrible movie, they're twins. And in the movie, he's like, yeah, such and such, I'm going to see her. I'm in love with her. And um, He's going, man, you know she used to joke about you and laugh at you and behind your back. She was doing this, that, or the other thing. He said, that was her problem. It wasn't mine. I was in love. All right, then, that's, I see what he was saying when he was telling me about this. Because I'm sitting there like, when I'm sitting there like, okay, you know, and I understand it, but I didn't get it. But what he was trying to say was, it ain't got nothing to do with that other person, really. They're the catalyst. They're the gateway. It's really you mm -hmm. being ready. That's why you say it all the time. How come you love me now? Because I'm ready to do it now. It's, it's all on you. But he was saying, now there's a mythology about Shiva. Shiva is in that mountain. He's doing his meditations every day. He's the ultimate aesthetic. Ain't nothing but me. That's what I was doing. I was about my shit every day. Come out, come down from the mountain, get a little doggy mm -hmm. style, back up on my horse. <laughs> All right, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Dinner? A movie? No. <laughs> I don't know, no, no. But here, I'm going to take down my zipper and we'll figure that shit out after. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even about hate or using. It was just, you know, there was no girlfriend involved. Uh, Bobby's always trying to hitch me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, this thing on so he keeps t talking about how this is actually a key, a big key. So after giving Khadija, totally releasing myself, that evil part of myself, the bitch doing it. Where this bitch at it? That's just kind of some shady. It didn't even come into my existence no more. Whatever. I could come home, see her sitting on the deck and be like, you still gonna cook later? Well, <laughs> Who the fuck drank the last Pepsi? You know what I mean? Well, when you finish, just clean up because it smells funky in here. I don't know who you fucking like. <laughs> you need to up your game. <laughs> now, of course, that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, that's all fantasy. That's all fantasy. Right. That's all fantasy. Some niggas' head is coming. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the, the point is, what I'm saying is I totally released myself from her having to be a certain way in my mind as a woman. The possession? The, the possession. That's the letting go. Mm -hmm. Because really, you really loving motherfuckers on conditions. 
I love her because she doesn't suck niggas dick on Panola Road. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love her because she, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, could you love her if you found her sucking dick on Panola Road? <laughs> Absolutely. That's 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 a hard that's a hard brick out there. That's a hard brick. <laughs> that's 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 what got me a bad alchemist. Next up, pick up a new one. Just be like, oh whoa, oh shit. No, that's the thing. <laughs> like, why Panola Road, bitch? <laughs> in right. front of like, in, in, front of the, in front of checkers. Right. <laughs> To your, your lady sucking dick in front of checkers in them seats that be outside with their umbrella. Embarrassing. Oh, God. Like, just the thought of it. You know what I'm saying? Just the fucking thought of it. Now, of course, ain't nobody going to be there. You know what I'm saying? But these little things that actually don't exist is where most of us are anyway. You love a woman and let her be free, actually. Their first job is to free her ass. You, so you got to be on some rescue and shit. Give me the gas bill, bitch. Don't look no more. No, look away. I'll take care of the gas bill. Look away. <laughs> You're doing so Bob used to say. He used to say some debonair shit. I went to Washington and rescued Linda. I'm like, damn, that's some real Sir Lance a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You had to give him the black fox. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> you know that lady. Yeah, nigga. nigga. The OE. Nigga. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> nigga. Nigga. So I had to rescue her. So I started to see when I said, less bills, no worries, no grief. Her power started going up. She gave up last minute. She gave up masculine energy. Mm -hmm. And then the feminine energy actually really kicked in. This motherfucker is the warden. Then I said, I, the true feminine energy is, is mother energy. Hands down. Mm -hmm. Because she became my motherfucking mother. Bob used to say, Linda's like my mother. And then you fucking love struck ass nigga. And then I've seen it. Like, you know, just go ahead, get there, straighten up. You really got a booger. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, cut it the fuck out. <laughs> like, wait a minute, stop the fuck, fuck. Like, oh, okay, baby. This is cute. Uh, go lay down. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, rubbing me and shit. Go, go. All right. So I'm like, God damn. So I seen it, and that's basically because, and I didn't see it in the beginning. I heard more. What's that? Why are you beefing? And I said, oh, you used to a nigga reacting, so she's already got an answer. I'm like, I'm the wrong guy. I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Or like, she like she'll hang out with her friends. Hey, we're at the movies now. Hey, we're eating dinner now. Hey, I just ordered some popcorn. Like, hey, bitch, leave me alone. I'm watching motherfucking Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? So she had to get used to not having to feel like she had to check in. Mm -hmm. So used to it. I'm like, no, go ahead. I'm gonna fuck with her. Leave me alone, you shit. I got. Kamani's coming over. You know what I'm saying? She'll be like, I'm going to do this. I'm like, Kamani's coming over so good. Especially now with my boy. He's always down for something. So now I'm like, I got, I have a friend too. So I just call him. And, you know, I'm like, you ain't got to check in. Just do what you do. That's not how I operate. Mm -hmm. That alone is free and full of mm -hmm. So niggas got all these women. They trying to keep, still keep them in check. Still these religious niggas freaking like they're conscious. Still trying to keep them in check. You free her. And that's, that's the first key. Mm -hmm. That's the first key. And you stop with the jealousy. It really has to not be in you. You don't have to act like you're not jealous. You literally not jealous. Because jealousy is the path to your own thoughts. Just another ritual. You start sitting there going, bitch ain't calling me. <laughs> like, it's like, all focused. Like, then you start thinking of the conversation you had. Man, mm -hmm. you know, with me, with me, with me. But when he said she was going to, you know, you start making up shit. Time that bitch come home, you sniffing her drawers. You know what I'm saying? It's all in your mind. Yeah. It's worse for women because at nine times out of ten, the nigga cheated on them. So they got some proof to, to, to work with. You know what I'm saying? So they already coming in. Seeing your balls still heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your balls are awfully light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been choosing. 
<laughs> you know, like uh, 